Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video guys if you have a Hyundai Sonata. If you guys have a Hyundai Sonata and you have rough idle or the car is revving up, unstable idle guys, stay with us, we will explain the top 5 reasons that can cause that and how to fix it guys. We will share very helpful information that can save you quite a bit of money and in most cases you don't need to spend much to fix that rough idle. So we are going to explain all that today. So this should actually work on Hyundai Sonata generation from year 2010 all the way to year 2015 guys. Also uh, let me introduce you quick to the channel. If you guys uh, need to buy any parts, tools, anything like that, we'll share the links in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all that from for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Another thing, every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos and specifically guys on this Hyundai Sonata we'll have more than 300 videos, mechanical videos videos that will be uploaded on the channel you're watching right now and we'll have more than 200 electrical videos about diagnostics fixing electrical components and that will be posted on our second channel electrical car repair live check it out guys everything okay will be shared so we can guys save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video Specifically guys, this is a 2013 Hyundai Sonata. We have the throttle body removed and now we're going to explain guys, okay, the number one reason for rough idle guys on these Hyundai Sonatas, especially a uh, hard mileage uh, Sonatas guys, okay, it's dirty throttle body. Now, <laughs> we clean half of it so we can see the difference and the other half is right there guys. Now, you wonder how it gets so dirty. Pretty simple, we have the PCV valve that catches the, uh, the pressure, the crankcase pressure but you will have some oil fumes and vapors as well especially if it's a bad valve guys okay that valve will inject quite a bit of oil in the intake manifold and your throttle body will get really dirty when it gets really dirty it may start sticking guys and also it may be malfunctioning it may be slow it may not respond correctly and uh, if it's sticking to where it doesn't close correctly all the way what will happen okay you will be leaking more air and that can cause unstable hydro revving up and all that stuff that's very common reason now we have a special video that explains how to clean it guys and the video is on the our channel how to clean throttle body on Hyundai Sonata number two guys check that gasket for the throttle body towards the intake manifold that gasket if it's failing guys okay if it's failing what can happen okay if it's leaking air that can cause the same symptoms as well now something else okay let's explain something here you have the pcv valve as well guys that pcv valve if it's not functioning correctly or it's disconnected okay or disconnected from the intake manifold that can cause unstable operation as well very very common now another thing you have gasket guys on the intake manifold where it attaches to the cylinder head if that gasket is leaking okay the same symptoms will occur so we'll have a video how to replace the intake manifold gaskets and if you need to buy any of those things we'll put the link in the description of the video below something else you need to check make sure you're not having a leak here from the uh, intake runner okay from the intake runner part okay right here and uh we'll have a video how to clean and rebuild that one as well because it's terrible on the inside guys i guarantee you we will have a special video that we will remove it clean it show you how to do that if you have a sticking intake runner that can cause unstable uh, operation of your engine as well uh, now something else if you have engine line on such as misfires guys uh, a few injector not working that will be the reason for your unstable operation but if everything else checks out fine and you don't have engine light okay always check for dirty throttle body and leaking gaskets hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time